Welcome to the new BikeCAD.ca website. BikeCAD is a free online bicycle design tool. Icons in BikeCAD open dialog boxes that allow you to change all aspects of a bike's geometry. Here we can change the seat angle and head angle, either by clicking the up and down arrows or by directly typing in the desired angle. The front end length and height can be modified by changing either the effective top tube length and top tube angle, the front center distance and head tube length, or the handlebar position in X and Y coordinates relative to the bottom bracket position. Tube diameters can be modified in the tubing dialog box along with the option to curve the tubes. You can curve each tube either once or twice and control the position and radius of each curve. There's a dialog box associated with each component of the bike. Here we see the saddle dialog box which allows us to modify the saddle height, change the shape of the saddle, and slide it fore and aft along the rails. We can also play with paint schemes. We can select a flames paint job and change the colors. We can turn on the display of lugs or bring in a shape like a circle that we can scale and pan across the length of the frame. We can open the dimensions dialog box and turn on the display of various dimensions such as front center, head angle, reach, and stack. These dimensions can be dragged on the screen for greater clarity. Some of these dimensions are grayed out in the free version of BikeCAD. To gain full access to this information, you'll need BikeCAD Pro. BikeCAD Pro is a standalone application that runs on any operating system, including Mac, Linux, and PC. It provides all the dimensions necessary to build the bike. You can even create your own dimensions. BikeCAD Pro also allows you to control a parametric model of a rider on the bike. It provides full access to a tool called the Fit Advisor, which can size a rider to a bike and be customized to work with a variety of fitting methods and philosophies. BikeCAD Pro will export design data in various file formats including CSV, PDF, Bitmap, DXF, SVG, as well as these PDF miter templates for hand filing tube miters. BikeCAD Pro has several other neat features like this means of checking compliance with UCI regulations. Getting back to the new BikeCAD.ca website, you can order BikeCAD Pro through the link at the top. You can also use the forum to post questions about BikeCAD and BikeCAD Pro. The Design Archive is a place for users to share their designs with the world. Here you'll see links to several different styles of bikes. You can select one of the bikes to see a larger image and more info about the bike including brand, model, size, material, etc. You can open this model in BikeCAD by clicking on the link labeled Open Model in BikeCAD. BikeCAD can take a while to load the first time. Once you've opened a model in BikeCAD, you can change it to suit your needs. Perhaps I'll change the suspension fork to a rigid fork for more urban use. Maybe I'll raise the bottom bracket so we can really clear those curbs. As we've seen already, you can change the cosmetics too. Perhaps we'll choose a fade paint scheme and adjust the position of the fade. We'll change the colors as well. We'll pick a silver for the front end and a red for the rear. We'll also match the fork color to the frame. We can modify the down tube logo and maybe call this bike the Rock Machine. We can change the outline color to red. We can display the brand on the top tube if we like. I'll say this is the elusive Wildcat brand. Space out the letters a bit more and change the colors as well. We don't have to display decals everywhere. We can go through and remove the remaining decals by unchecking the appropriate checkboxes. Once you're happy with your design, you can save your model online by clicking File, Save Online. The Notes dialog box will appear and we'll be encouraged to complete a few additional fields that will help with cataloging our design. You can also include a URL for more information. This might be the manufacturer's page dedicated to the specs of this particular model. If you're a custom builder making a bike for a client, you may have filled in your customer's info here, but I would suggest you remove that before saving your design online in the event that you make your design publicly accessible. You should also ensure that the notes text field doesn't contain any sensitive information. Once this info is updated, we can click Submit. After a brief delay, you'll find your design in the My Designs tab. 
Also, assuming you chose to add your design to the Public Design Archive, you'll find your model there as well. You can follow that link to see a larger image of your bike with all the cataloging info and a spot for others to comment at the bottom. If you scroll to the top, you'll see the Edit tab, which allows you to modify some of the catalog data. You can also remove the design from the Public Design Archive and close the commenting options as well, if you like. If you have not included your design in the Public Design Archive, your model will still have a publicly accessible URL that you can share with friends. However, under Publishing Options, if you uncheck Published, then no one but yourself will be able to view your design. Once you've made any changes, you can click Update, or if you absolutely must, you can delete your entire model. As more people contribute to the design archive, this should become an invaluable resource, allowing everyone to search for production and non-production bicycles by style, material, brand, model, and size. If you're a longtime BikeCAD user with BikeCAD files from BikeCAD Pro or from the BikeForUs.com website, you can upload those files here. So, welcome to the new BikeCAD.ca website. Please enjoy and contribute your designs to the archive and your questions and comments to the forum.